Okay, so in this video we're going to learn about constants and constant enumerations. And we're also going to learn about a keyword called IOTA. So let's get started. As the name suggests, constants are pretty much containers that stay constant. They're like variables except that they don't change. That's why they have constant. So to actually create one, what you do is write the keyword const, c-o-n-s-t, followed by the constant name. Sometimes in other programming languages you have constant names go full caps, like that, but obviously in Go it's not um, obligatory. Then you can, it's not um, obligatory to specify the type so this works exactly the same however this is called a typed constant <coughs> and this is called an untyped constant I'm not going to go into the difference but you can you can just imagine that they work the same okay so here we're just going to print it, we'll look at the result in a second and before we check that, there is also a way of um, declaring um, constant, multiple constants it's the same with variables where you can create var and then create these parentheses well here with constants you could do the same, you could do const parentheses and in each line inside the parentheses you declare a new constant and this is interesting so what IOTA does well first of all I've created first second and third three constants and I've got the first one to equal to IOTA so what IOTA does is inside a constant enumeration which is this so when we see a um, a, con a multiple constant declaration that's also called enumeration in Go. When you see IOTA, what it does is sets this value, the first value in the enumeration, to zero, the next one to one, the next one to two. So it keeps keeps on increasing, increasing. So if we change to our terminal. And we do go run twenty one. As you could expect, for the golden ratio, we get the number, the float, and for the iota declaration, we have is that first, sorry, first is equal to zero, second is equal to one, and third is equal to two. So you can have. Um, you can play with this iota so you can have it equal to iota plus one and if we come here and run this again it's gonna start at one and just add to the iota value so iota is quite useful when you want to create enumerations and that's pretty much it so constants of course have to be initialized you can't have a constant and then um, number that's not going to work because you haven't given it anything see unexpected it's unexpected there's a syntax error so if you do this for example and we change as you can see it's expecting an equal sign constants always need to be initialized like here and here, even though there's no equal sign, this enumeration, this the GoLang, the compiler knows that it's expecting to add to the IOTA values to this one. And what you, to res, to reset this IOTA variable, you can create another constant, and this is going to reset it, reset back to zero. And just before we finish this video, I want to show you what happens if you try to modify a a constant so as you can see golden ratio here we have 
have it equal to 1.6 and here we're changing it to 6.4 so if we come to cathode and clear and go run const as you can see at line 20 cannot assign a value to golden ratio it doesn't let you you can't change it it's a constant it has to stay the same so that's pretty much it for constants I hope you understood what they are I think they're fairly easy to understand and I hope to see you in the next video